Good day, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hope everyone is doing well. I know it's been a minute, but I told you that I would be out of commission every August, September, October. We do the all experience and it is time to reset, regroup, um, and get things back in order. So when we come off of it by, I would say by October, by the new year, the Hebraic new year, we hit the ground running. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Um, if there's anyone that you know needs to be in here, let them know that World Changers is on. I told you to follow me so that if I show up, all you have to do is just pop up and um, you'll be able to see who, when I'm on. It'll let you know if you're following me. If you're not following me, it's a little harder to know um, because the rooms will be scheduled, but they will also be um, very, very, very spontaneous. So with that being said, tag anyone that you know needs to be in here, anyone that is usually in here that is not right now. And I want to welcome everybody to World Changers with Somali Brown, mandated to be defender of humanity, protector of mankind. I am bringing you thought-provoking, mind-shifting wisdom. I want you to grab a notepad and a pen and prepare for a paradigm shift in the next 45 minutes. Again, how is everybody? I know it's been a minute. Haven't really spoken to you guys. Um, want to check in real quick. Everybody doing good. Everybody still have their tips, their tools, um, the things that they need to get things going, um, to keep afloat. Um, someone raised their hand. I'm not sure if that is on purpose. If you are, I will bring you up. But yes, um, we are still in August. So we are still in the episode um, and in the podcast of Don't React all of August, I told you guys, don't react, don't react, don't react. Um, actually, I've been telling you, don't react, don't react, don't respond since um, last year, February 22nd, 2022, which was two, 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 two. Remember that? I said, do not react, do not respond. Um, it's 11, 11. Wow, this is crazy. Um, because if you react, the enemy is going to use that against you. The enemy is going to use it to keep you down. The enemy is going to use it to keep you from ascending into your rightful place, right? Um, he's going to keep you from growing and it is even more now. I told you there was a split happening, right? I told you there was a huge split happening. Well, we are in the middle of the split. Um, The title says Eris, New Strand of COVID. That's the name, right? Um, With the split happening, I told you it was 4D, density 5D. Um, One is to stay in alignment with love, a joy, peace. The other which 4D, 3D is more negativity, anger, frustration. Don't react to those. If you're taking notes, which I always tell you, grab a notepad and a pen, do not react. If you react and you let someone take you and pull you in, it's a wrap, okay? You are giving that life. You are speaking that to people. You are letting the entities of this world know I got you, okay? You are letting the entities of this world, um, you're basically confirming, okay? You are confirming when you react to that. Now, what do we have that is happening now? So uh, 2020, we had COVID and it was called the coronavirus and it was called crown. Now, There's something hindsight that I don't know how many of you know, but when the coronavirus was released, the C-19 was released, that was the first big spiritual awakening for the masses. What happened? We were supposed to be crowned, hence the name Corona, which means crown in Spanish, right? 
we were supposed to be crowned. They tried to say, oh, it's because of the spiky proteins on the top of the cell or the type of the whatever it is called. When it enters your body, it becomes a crown. It's just in the shape of a crown with spikes on top. You were supposed to be crowned. You were supposed to be elevated. And the list goes on. You were supposed to be taken to a entire new place. And that's still happening. It's still happening. What they're doing on the flip side is putting things in place to stop you. How do you ascend? How do we go higher in God? You go higher in God by walking in love, staying in positivity, staying in peace, and not reacting. Let me continue by saying what has been happening the past couple of weeks. I have not been on, but we've all been feeling it. Today, and we don't study astrology, we study astronomy. Okay, I need you to hear the difference. It's not astronomy. It's astrology. I mean, it's not astrology. It's astronomy. I always get those mixed up. Um, Astronomy is the study of the stars. God says in his word that he created the stars to tell a story. There's a reason. There's insight in the stars when you use them for God's good. Even in the Hebraic faith, it's called the Mazaroth. If you look it up, It'll tell you, you can find information, not for selfish gain, not to tell the future, but to gain insight and wisdom, okay? So there's a full moon coming and it's rare and it's so rare, it only happens when there's a double full moon in one month. That is this month. So the cosmic shift that's happening is so rare you guys, okay? We even had at the end of July that the, what is it called? Sapotec Civilization in Mexico, they studied the underworld and they wanted to know more about the underworld that they built a passageway and underground tunnels to the underworld and those doors were just opened. I'm just gonna put that right there. (laughs) Because what's been happening is very similar to 2020. What's been happening is very similar to 2020. What's been happening in 2020? Historical events. Do you remember half of the historical events? 2020, we had a real life Passover. We had the Sahara Sands come across, which we have never had. And if we did, they never said anything about it. I I mean, we we had zoo animals running wild like tigers and something else in Chicago. It was historical event after historical event. And 2023 is no different. Okay, there's a lot of animosity in the air right now instead of people coming together. And I'm telling, I'm giving you the warnings and I'm giving you things to do before I get into the name of COVID, the new C-19. Don't let the negativity win, you guys. A lot of animosity in the air. And instead of coming together, they're, they're separating us. That's what COVID did. Remember, Corona... And everything else about it, they had the legal right to release the spirit of death. So death was just rampant. Then um, pandemic, remember I told you pandemic was, the definition in Hebrew was pandemonium, panic. Um, It also was shortened, if you want to shorten it even more, was pan, which is a spirit like the Pied Piper, like R. Kelly, where he used the music, the flute, same cartoon character, to lure people, lure his victim, and then he terrorized them, okay? Hear me, that's what was released in, um, that's what was released during 2020. Now, let's see. What is happening here is that you need to stay focused on the positive and trust in your protection. I need you to write that down. If you stay focused on your positive, I don't care what the bills look like. Stay focused. I'm abundant. Um, I know I'm abundant. We went through all of those. I know I'm abundant from the head down. I know I'm abundant. I see that I'm abundant. I speak that I'm abundant. I love that I'm abundant. I am abundant. I have the ability to be abundant. All of those words, right? Stay focused on the positive. Then you must trust in the protection so you can move forward. 
That is your instructions. You cannot move forward if you do not trust him or in the instructions. To be able to move forward, you must trust that you are protected. Okay? You must trust that you are protected. Why? Because if you don't trust that you're protected, you won't move forward. You're scared. You are protected. Some of you have gotten COVID. Some of you have gotten it multiple times. And you're still alive. It has taken people out. And the reason why I can't take you out is because it's not your time and you have too much work to do. So, then I want you to also write, like I said, I'm doing it backwards. Normally, I give you all the information. Then I give you the do's, the don'ts to write down. Now, I want you to ask these questions. Ask, where are you not accepting others and still placing judgment? Because judgment is a no-no right now. Do not judge. And I mean simple. Why would they do that? That's judging. I mean, I need you to do a thorough research on judging because you'll be like, well, I'm not saying this, this, and that. I'm not saying, oh my God, look at her clothes. That's not the only way to judge. There's prejudging. Why don't you go ask your sister if she wants to go out to eat? No, she always says no. That's prejudging. You're judging her answer before she even says it. Um, Another judge is, why would the president do that? Why would he sign that executive order? That's judging. Questioning someone's authority is judging. See, we don't even know what it means. So that's how easy it is to fall in line with judging. So the question is, ask where are you not accepting others and still placing judgment? In this time and place, we are not to judge each other. We are not each other's enemy. Two, focus on unity, hyper focus on unity. Be that that is unified. Unify them, okay? Hold on a second, I got a call trying to come through. You be the glue for the family between you and your friends, between you and your spouse, whatever you need to do, you be that glue. Focus on unity. So don't judge. We are not each other's enemy. Focus on unity and call on acceptance is the last one. Choose acceptance. It doesn't matter if you're not perfect enough for the job. It doesn't matter if you don't think you're qualified. Believe that you are. Those are the three things. I just gave you your assignment. I just gave you how to maneuver this next season as we're entering in it now, okay? As we are entering into this season, I just gave you what not to do, what questions to ask, and where to stay. Now, what is Eris? So how many of you remember I was big um, a year or two ago on Wonder Woman? Um, I had you guys watch it. There's probably a rise. So there's, this might be pre uh, many of you on here right now. So, Eris, the Greek goddess of strife and discord and chaos. Why? Oh, you remember. Okay, perfect. Why would you, why would they name the new C-19 strife, discord, and chaos? Just think about that. Do you see where I'm going? Drop a two in the chat if you see where I'm going. Nothing is an accident. Nothing is by happenstance. If you think these viruses are just poof, popping out of thin air and multiplying and and multiplying to that extent where they said, scientists said, there's no way that this can mutate. That is the new C-19, Eris, E-R-I-S. Yes, ma'am. It cannot mutate that fast on its own. It needs help. One, look at the name. What did I just say? See, this is why I started backwards. I didn't even know why I started backwards. I said there's a lot of animosity in the air. Instead of people coming together, people are judging and they're letting negativity win instead of being one and walking in unity. Well, now the new virus is called Eris. And in Greek, you know, I don't do Greek, but it's a Greek goddess. And she is the author 
of strife, discord, and chaos. So let me break that down for you. Greek goddess, which means she has power, unlimited power. When they name it, E-R-I-S, oh, I got the this. Oh, look at this doing that. It's going to be spewed all over the TV, all over the internet. Everyone's going to have it in his mouth. What do you think is done? It's given it the power to live on this earth, just like the spirit of death, just like every time we said pandemic, we were releasing pandemonium, we were releasing panic, and we were giving the virus the opportunity and the power and the authority because of our words. Here we go again. If we didn't learn from the first one, I'm giving you ammo. Please don't hoard this. This will not be up for replay on here, but it will be up for replay on YouTube. Share it far and wide, you guys. When you listen to it, send the share button to at least three people. Promise me you will send it to at least three people. We cannot go through 2020 again the same way. If we do, we learned nothing. And that's impossible. I know I learned a lot. The name of the new C-19 is Eris. She is a Greek goddess of strife, discord, and chaos. Eris is a feminine name of a Greek origin that is sure to help, okay? It's sure to help embrace dark. Did you hear what I just said? It is sure to help people embrace their dark, mischievous side. Last time when Corona was out, it was crown and it was death. And it sure did wipe out a lot of people on this earth. That It was not their time. They're not trying to kill us this time. We've gotten too powerful, those of us who survived 2020. Hear me. We've gotten too smart, too intelligent. And we've disconnected from a lot of their stuff, their BS and their jargon. And we've actually evolved and grew at warp speed. So they chose, this was not an accident. This was on purpose. They want us to embrace our dark side. They want us to embrace our mischievous side. What do I always say? If you survived 2020, you got it and you survived. You didn't get it and you survived. You did not survive 2020 to do nothing. You did not survive 2020 to twiddle your thumbs later on in life. You survived because you're supposed to be here. You've got work to do. And now darkness can't really live in you because you're like, "Uh -uh, I'm not doing that. I know why I'm here. We have purpose now. We, We read about purpose before. We wanted to be in our purpose. But now we know we survived for a purpose. There's a difference. And they can see it. So they chose to name the new virus, Eris. Now, you know who her brother is? Eris in um, Wonder Woman. Eris. They're almost the same. Eris with an E-R and Eris with an A-R. This is Eris with C-19. Eris with an A-R is the god of war. Go figure. The god of war. Okay? So... Her name means strife. And the sister of Ares, which is unfavorable, unfriendly, lacking in decisiveness, without strength of character, irresolute, and war. Now, Latin, it means you will be. So they're telling you when you, I'm not going to say it, but you got to read between the lines. And I want you to drop a two in the chat if you catch what I'm saying. Listen to what I just said. In Latin, Aries means you will be. What do we say when we get confirmation in a positive test? I have the E-R-I-S. Right or wrong? Drop it in the chat if you catch where I'm going. Do you catch what they're doing? Our words are spelled. So when you say, I have the F-L-U-E, I have the C-R-O-N-A, you now will say, I have the E-R-I-S, which means you will be, which means I will now embrace the dark. I will now embrace my dark side, my mischievous side. 
Are you following me? I need to know that you're following me. Drop a two in the chat that you're following me. Or if I need to break it down a little further. Because I need to make sure that you guys understand you have to be careful how you speak in this next season. Because if you say I have E-R-I-S, you are saying I will be, and be is what? Continuous. A continuous is an action. Being. Do you see how strategic they are? nothing is a coincidence and nothing is on by accident. And there may be people that are listening to this and be like, that's too much. Then so be it for you. But you know what? I know that my words are powerful and I will not be saying that I have that because I am not embracing my dark side because we've worked too hard. If you've been in the world changer communities, just on clubhouse, if you've been in the world changer communities app, we've worked too hard to override our dark side. We've worked too hard to make sure our mischievous side, which is the flesh, bows down to the God in us, in our spirit realm, in our spirit man. And here they come with simple words that everyone's going to say without batting an eye because it is what it is. I got the F-L-U. I got S-I-C-K. You're literally going to say it when it's confirmed. And boom, there's the access. And then you're wondering why you've spiraled out of control. Your relationships has strife. Your relationship has discord. And you're mischievous. And the old things that you knew you put to rest are back full-fledged. And you are confused. In Hebrew, it means contention, wrangling. Affection for dispute. Do you hear how powerful these were? Affection for dispute. That means you love dispute. We all as women, there's all women in here that I know of right now. We all love affection. And affection for dispute? No. They're trying to create chaos underhandedly. They're trying to bring back mischievousness underhandedly. Not in our face, but underhandedly. Now, back to Aries, the goddess that helps you embrace your dark side, mischievous side. And I'm going to keep saying that because I need y'all to hear it. Don't you say that word. I mean, no, don't say it, but don't say it in the context of I have blah, blah, blah. Her problematic behavior and her ability to stir up trouble wherever she goes, that is her gift. Problematic behavior, that's the... Typical angry woman, the roll your neck, pop off at the mouth, contentious woman. Many of you used to be that. You're no longer that. Some of you have a trace of that. You've seen that. You don't want to be that. That will be your portion. You claim this next whatever virus. Her ability to stir up trouble wherever she goes. You know how many of us cloak ourselves in this, clothe ourselves, cloak ourselves in speed, in in peace and love and kindness, whatever we do in the realm of the spirit, in world changers, and we go into a place and there's chaos and we bring peace, where we go into an area where there's hatred and we bring love, she brings and stirs up trouble on purpose. Very similar to Jezebel. That coworker that'll come and tell you, pss, 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 and then you'll be like, what? And then you go, pss, 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 and then that person's sitting back watching with a smirk like, yep, love to see that fire. That's Eris. We all know people like that. Imagine the whole world like that. Every time they get this new virus, when they say, I have E-R-I-S, that is what they're going to begin to embody. And they're not even going to know it. And that's the sad thing. Now, let me tell you her most famous, famous situation. Eris is most famous for her, the golden apple of discord. Ain't that ironic? The golden apple of discord. We started with the apple. Okay. Which played a key role in the cause of the Trojan War, you guys. Literally. This woman was not invited to Zeus's um, children's wedding. 
So she threw a golden apple of discord and I think she put something on it, a spell that had to do with fairest of them all or something like that. And they all begin to fight for it because they're all gods, right? And they all begin to fight for it. And that started the beginning of the Trojan War. That's how dangerous. Do you, But do you catch what I'm saying? Her brother, Eris, is the god of war. We all know we've heard rumors and rumors and rumors of war, albeit in the Bible it says you will hear rumors and rumors of war. Russia, everything that's happening right now, what this world wants is to lead to war. Mischievousness leads to a fight, right? You're embracing your dark side and operating it leads to a fight. Strife leads to a fight. This ain't no fight. They are trying to lead us to a type of war. And not just any war. Do you see what kind of war? It was the Trojan War where it was undercover, mischievous. It was, it, they embraced their dark side. They built, we know the story of the Trojan War. I don't even need to go in detail. The apple of discord sparked events that eventually led to the Trojan War. Okay, some of the words in the etymology for strife and discord are unfriendly feelings, ill will, dissension, strife, disagreement, discordia, um, disagreeing, disagreement. You guys, what does God always say? In our community, we stand in agreement. If you ever need a prayer, it's we're going to stand in agreement. They are upset because we've stood in agreement that we won't get sick. We won't die. At least I know in our community, we stand in Goshen. We don't even operate in that famine. I'm not in agreement with the famine. I'm not in agreement with the sickness. And again, I'm not in agreement with Eris. I'm not in agreement with none of that. We've taken agreements. They're trying to dismantle our agreements, you guys. And it won't even take long or won't even be hard to dismantle it. You know why? Because it's an undercover, every time you say that name and you claim it, because it's not something that just you're going to talk about in casual conversation. We don't talk about that name. No one's named that in the world. But every time you do say it, it's because you're claiming it. You're laying claim to it and you're coming into agreement. You're opening the door. I have Eris. I tested positive for Eris. I'm S-I-C-K with E-R-I-S. Look at how many different ways we're going to say it. Not we, them, other people. I'm not getting it. Just like I didn't get the corona, I'm not getting that. I come out of absolute agreement. It will not touch my house. And I'm saying it on live and I'm saying it as a witness. It will not touch my house. It has no legal right to touch my house. Because I'm not operating in strife, in discord go to the root of the name and it definitely can't come into your heart. Now, more revelation on the spirit of discord. It comes through a sower. My goodness. Look at how it's coming. There's no other way they could create discord in us right now. We are too unified. After what happened in 2020 and we realized Some of us realized it was not just something that boom happened. Some of us realized we're angry because we lost relatives. We've all, it's, you know, that saying, uh, you're my enemy, but you're, how do they say it? You guys may know what I'm trying to say. You're my enemy, but we have the same enemy. Mutual enemy makes us friends of my enemies. That's what's happened. That's what has happened. And we are now against what they've done and they've got to break that up. And what better yet? Than to really strife and discord amongst the people. Mark my word, you're going to see more hatred, more anger. We're going to see the protests again. See, that's where we were two years ago, and they were happy, divided African Americans and Caucasians and Latinos over here and Asians over there. Asians getting beat down by getting hit. They want that. We're not there anymore. Not as a collective, not even as a human race. We are not there. But this strife and discord, they're going to try to pull us back there. And it's up to us, light beings, 
children of light. I'm not talking new age. Go look at your word. It says we are children of the light. We and there are children of darkness. They know who they are. Do you know who you are? You're supposed to carry the light. And darkness is nothing but the absence of light. So when you show up, they need to cower. Not you and not the other way around. Now, it comes through a sower. In other words, someone had to have access to you. Hear me. Someone has to have access to you and your family at some point to sow the seed of the spirit of strife and discord for it to take root and operate. It's a very sneaky spirit. Hence why I'm blowing the whistle now. Hence why I'm speaking. I've been trying to speak this for two days. My daughter got fell I-L-L. And I was just like, oh. Then again, today she wasn't like, I still don't feel good. I was like, I've got to get this out before September 1st. I have to. Because um, people, I have four clients, one, two, three clients and one family member who have C-19 right now. And when they tested, the old testing couldn't, of course, detect because it's a different variant, totally different variant. But they said, my body feels the same. I feel weird. And it's worse than the first one. But the good thing is, is they don't know the name yet. So they're not calling it in by name, but it's still in because it had access. We get ahead of this. It won't do what it did in 2020. It's a very sneaky spirit. It has to come through a sower. What's the sower? Your words. What's another sower? Someone has to have access to you. It can't just, you can't just operate in strife and discord. You have to be um, brought into it. You have to give that spirit, and all the other spirits you have to give them. I told you, anybody who comes on my page that's a tarot card reader, that's a psychic, a median, all of them, they'll give me a little word and they'll be like, but I need your permission. Do I have permission? I need your consent. These are the words they say because they know better. They cannot just come up to you. Well, they could, no, let me correct myself. Let me back up. Before I knew who I was, when I was 18, I was working at an amusement park before I went to college. And they used to come up to me and just read my hand. And I'd be so angry, but I didn't know who I was. And they'd just be like, oh, da, 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 da. I'd take my hand and be like, no, because my mom taught me that was wrong. So I didn't, no, don't want that. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know why you're wrong, but I don't want it. Then when I came up, God, I said, you should not know your future. I was like, oh, okay, that's why it's wrong. But it wasn't until I learned my authority and who I am, who I was, and and the, the voice of God that comes out of me, now they know. I know, and they always ask permission. I mean, I went to Hawaii. I told you guys, I went to Hawaii to visit, and a psychic found me there. And I was just like, oh, my God, everywhere I go, they would hunt me down in the stores and give me some kind of cute compliment and then be like, can I tell you? No. They started asking. These people know that. Remember, these entities, this is high, high, high ranking entities. These are not humans. They are not human. These are entities, okay, that have the right to be on this earth. They were casted down here until this earth turns into the new heaven. Period. Now, the purpose is to cause division and enmity into the enemy's house camp to avenge and judge what they did against his people. That is the point. So I want you to write down Judges 9, 23 to 25. After God sent the discord, so God even uses discord. So remember, these spirits are not always just for the enemy. These, I'm going to say that again. These spirits are not just for the enemy to use against us. After God sent the discord into the enemy's camp, they ended up having strife among themselves, similarly to God hardening Pharaoh's heart as to get his people delivered across the Red Sea to render judgment on Pharaoh's army. Similarly to God will cause your enemies to fall into the pit they dug for you. Can you ask God to render judgment on those who have caused or sowed discord in your life? Yes, you can. And it'll be according to his will. And you leave it at that. 
Yes, I sure will. Judges 9, 23 through 25. God sent the spirit of discord. That's just like with David. When he had them, he said, shall I pursue? I will not go unless you tell me I'll pursue and recover all. He said, yes, yes. And he went and he said, wait for the mulberry, the sound of the mulberry trees. And then he blinded them. That's discord. They started fighting and slaughtering each other. They didn't even have to fight the fight. So this is, I need you to understand that God can use this also. But right now the enemy's using it. But I for dang sure will send discord to the enemy's camp that's coming after me. That's just like if you have witches coming after you, send discord to their camp and their coven will blow up in their face. No one can, that's how powerful the spirit is. That God uses it, no one can survive it unless you know how to maneuver through it, which is what I'm giving you right now. Now, those of you who are in the community and on the awe experience, this is the month of Elul. There is a reference to the month of Elul. Okay, he was revealed, it was revealed to me on August 29th, this is 2019, this is where I got this from. The first day of the month of Elul, the king is in the field, which is current. We are in the month of Elul, and the king is actually in the field. This was in 2019, so this is even before COVID. The Apostle Paul wrote, you are God's field, you are God's building. Corinthians 3.19. Throughout this passage, Paul makes it very clear that though he had another minister, may have sown seed or tended and watered, it was God who gave the increase. God controls his field and what it produces for harvest. 1 Corinthians 3, 5 through 9. He comes to check that field. He comes to check on that field at the time of harvest. We are in this season right now. Today, we are in this season right now. Check your household and check your hearts to see if there's any discord. And I'm going to run down some of the things that might have been sown. Because if you have anything in common, those of you who know about going to the courts, if you have anything in common with discord or strife, it don't matter if you catch the new virus or not. It's coming for you. And it has a legal right to attach itself to you because you have something in common with it. Enmity, putting another person against the other. If you are one who likes to gossip, to slander, to run and carry and take gossip back and forth, that's enmity. You have something in common. Quarreling, strife, jealousy, prolonged anger, fits of anger, hostility. Rivalry, slander, dissension, gossip, division, conceit, envy, disorder, chaos. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Hence why I keep saying operate, live only in the love dimension. Do not fall below the love dimension. If you stay in the love dimension, these things have to fall off. Does that mean we're perfect, you guys? No, I never stress perfectionism. I stress lifestyle of repentance. Prolonged anger, fits of anger, hostile. You had a rough day and you are a bit angry from what transpired early in the day. Don't let it prolong and affect the rest of your day. That'll open the door. And this spirit, as you see, the news are going to start speaking it more and more. It's just now getting out. New variant, new variant. They haven't said the name yet. As they start saying the name more, it's going to be just like Corona. It's going to be everywhere. <clears throat> the more they spew it, the more life they give it. The more they say it, the more access it'll have. The more they say it, the more it's going to have access to your life if you have something in common. Discord comes against the fruit of the Holy Spirit in your life. Any fruit. Discord comes against the fruit of the Holy Spirit in your life. Okay? What will we do? Well, first off, we got to come out of agreement. Second, you got to make sure you stand powerfully in your truth and have nothing in common with it. I just gave you a couple of words, a couple of, um, sorry, names, rivalry, slander, dissension, gossip, contention, anger, um, 
bitterness, unforgiveness, all of that is part of strife. All of it. All of it is part of discord. You have to reverse it before it even starts. And you have to take your seat of authority as a God on this earth, little G. When Corona hit, that day I went outside and put the blood on my doorpost and said, you will not come in my house. I took authority. I took my seat of authority. I went straight into the heavenlies and said, not this house. You will not enter this house. I I forbid you. And whatever I need to do, God, to guarantee it does not touch my household, you let me know. And it never touched my household. I told you the only reason why my family, minus me, got corona was because I went to my parents' house and I did not speak it over their house. And that's how specific you have to be. My husband got it because he had a job and he got it. Then he gave it to the kids. Then he gave it to my parents. And then my mom got it. And I took care of all of them for two weeks. So, take your seat of authority now. I don't remember what uh, YouTube episode it is, but there's one where I said, we're not going back to Goshen. Don't go back saying I live in Goshen. We moved out of Goshen. Goshen was when we were in the wilderness. We're not in the wilderness. We're in our promised land. It's Hebron now. And I don't know which one that is. Let me see if I can find it real quick so I can put it up here. You've got to listen to that one. If anybody knows... Those of you in the community, if you remember which episode was Hebron, that would help those coming behind you. Um, there's only 10 episodes, so I mean, I don't think it'd be, let me see, pivot, act like it's yours, trust is silence, where should I go? It might be where should I go? Week of abundance, week of abundance, strengthening, speak it. I would say, where should I go? Let's start there. I'm going to share this. But there is an episode on um, Hebron. If you were following me earlier, where I was on every day, um, that is the episode for the month of August. Don't react. Where should I go? Best day ever. Yeah, moving forward. I believe it's that one. (sighs) But I want to walk you through a prayer real quick. Um, so that we can remove what needs to be removed. That we're not doing this. We're not having it. We're not allowing them to do it. We're not going to sit there and sit back. And I need you to stand in your authority in your city. Hear me. I have taught y'all well enough that where your feet are, where you have a house, where you have a lease and you have a mortgage or you pay rent, I don't care. Where your feet are, you have dominion. You have regional dominion, global dominion, whether you know it or not. Take your seat of authority and speak over your city and say, we will not have any riots. We will not be out of unity. We will not be in hostility. We will not be in disorder and chaos. We will not have protests that disrupt my home. Speak it now before it starts to happen so that you can see the power of your words. Do you hear me? Don't let it happen and then be like, oh my God, how, why? No, no. Speak it now that it will not be able to happen in your neck of the woods. It cannot cross the threshold where you live. And because you live here, it cannot enter. Okay, so that's just one prayer. That is one prayer that I want you to pray when you, wherever you are, put your feet on the ground, go outside and say, you will not. And as you're driving around for the next couple of weeks, you will not bring discord. You will not bring strife. And many people in my city will not get it. You have that authority. If all of us did that in 2020, half of us wouldn't have got it. And many wouldn't have passed. We're not doing it the same way. They're not coming the same way. We're not handling it the same way. We're not rejecting it the same way. I need you to use your voice. I need you to speak up and demand that this Aries goddess of strife and discord cannot overpower your city and will not because you stand in authority against it. Cannot. Okay? And I need you to believe that. 
Yes, little old you. Yes, you. You're little maybe in stature, but your demeanor and what God has given you the power to do ain't little. Nothing about it is little. Nothing about it is little. Do you hear me? So here is the prayer that I want you to pray with me. And then this way, we can at least get the ball rolling. And then, like I said, please share this. It will be available for replay. Anyone happening now on YouTube. I'm probably going to push it up and make it the next one because tomorrow my, my podcast drops new episodes. I decided to do it once a week on Wednesdays um, while I'm on the office. And then when I'm off the office, we'll see what he leads me to. I was every day. But right now, I, I, I don't have the capacity to do that because I'm in rest mode and receiving mode. So. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in whom I am seated and sealed, I take authority over the ungodly situation, relationship, and activities that heiress will try to do in my life and in those around me. This is not the will of God for my life, according to God's word. Therefore, I cannot stay and must, it cannot stay and it must cease in the mighty name of Yeshua. I put all the works of the enemy of Eris, strife, which is the goddess of strife, discord. Get me to embrace my dark side and my mischievous side, to be indecisive, gossip slander, etc. under my feet and I dismantle these evil works by the power of the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. I repent right now of all sins known and unknown according to strife and discord. I repent of sins of omission and commission in regards to strife and discord. And I cleanse my bloodline on my mother's mother's side, my mother's mother's father's side, my father's mother's side and my father's father's side all the way back to Adam and Eve of any strife and discord. The first person who opened the door to strife and discord, the door is shut. I forgive them and I seal that door with the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach. I have nothing, repeat after me if you're not already, I have nothing in common with the spirits of strife discord and mischievousness nothing father god in the name of yeshua i declare that i will not accept or agree with anything that is not walking in harmony or unity on this earth related to eris this is what i see trying to operate and being released into our lives that is not according to your word I renounce it, cancel it, and I come out of agreement with it, and I command it, and I speak it to leave forever from my body, from my family, and those connected to me in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord, from my seat of authority in you, I ask you for angelic hosts and angels on assignment now on my behalf my husband, my children, my wife, whether you be a man or a woman, anyone connected to me, to assist me in uprooting the spirit of discord, strife, chaos, mischievousness, now. By faith, I ask for the angels that are assigned to me, my guardian angel, to go now and permanently lay the act. Put the battle axe to the root of any trees that are bearing fruit. That is discord, strife, and mischievousness. And it shall not bring forth fruit ever again. And we cast it into the fire. We burn it up by fire. Father God, we ask 
for the harvest angels. I thank you for the blessings and abundance you have promised for my life and the life of everyone connected to me. My family, my marriage, my household, my children. For your word is true and good. I am calling on the harvest angels into my life right now. Because what they are trying to do is destroy our harvest, our food, our water, our shelter. But Father God, as we move into Hebron, as you give them revelation of Hebron, the harvest angels, our coverage will never be bare. You will supernaturally provide. You will supernaturally provide water, food, clothing, and anything else that the heiress and the entities of this world will try to take. And if anybody is in a place where they are trying to, how do I say this, release mm, destruction, thank you, Holy Spirit, on them in a very strategic way, harvest angels on assignment, do not let it happen to anyone under the sound of my voice. If they are in a city or a position like Hawaii, if they're in a place where they're trying to make them a sitting duck, you cover them and you make it so supernatural that they have to ask, how did you survive? We are praying this in advance. I thank you for the harvest angels, Lord God. I thank you. I thank you for what they're going to do for us. They are going to go and provide. They are going to go and assist. For the plans and the purpose that you have for us in this time frame, we are here for a reason and we decree that we become the fertile ground that our Lord Yeshua Hamashiach, Hamashiach speaks about in Matthew 13, 18. Still the other seed fell on good soil where it produced a crop 160, 30 times what was sown. Father, I ask in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach that you would release your sower angels to sow good seeds in the midst of this destruction. The harvest... My headphones are trying to check. It's okay. The harvest angels to harvest it, the sower seeds to... The sower angels to sow it. And we thank you in advance. We thank you in advance. We release it all, Lord God, to you, Almighty. No weapon formed against any person listening to this shall prosper. I take the signet ring that represents the authority of Abba, Father, God Almighty. And anyone who comes up against us, in judgment, anyone who tries to sneakily take us out before our time, Father God, I command them to wither and die according to your will as our brother Yeshua spoke to the fig tree for being out of order and not producing fruit. For no weapon formed against any person under the sound of my voice in the form of heiress. We're going to be very specific. No weapon formed against any person under the sound of my voice listening to this live or on the replay. In the form of heiress or destruction on this earth. Shall prosper. And every tongue that is raised up against us in the form of heiress. Destruction man-made or natural shall be condemned. We stand in agreement with your word that says, as long as we resist, it has to flee. We have cleansed our home. We've cleansed our mother's bloodline and our father's bloodline. We have nothing in common with the enemy that is being released on this earth. The enemy that has a legal right, heiress, the Greek goddess of strife, discord, and mischievousness that forces you or makes you embrace your dark side. We have nothing in common with that spirit going forward. And if we do uproot it right now and take the battle axe and uproot it from the root, 
release us into what we are supposed to do, who we are supposed to be in this season. Give them dreams upon dreams. Give them revelation upon revelation. Take them from glory to glory, Father. Help them to know that they survived 2020, went through 2020 to be able to stop 2023 from taking out masses. Wherever your feet shall tread, I need you to drive around your neighborhood and say, "Not I put up spiritual barriers. I put up spiritual fences. I put up angels that will breathe the heiress air before it hits the children in the school, before it hits my house. When I walk into the grocery store, my angelic guardian angel breathes the air and purifies it for me. This is how you begin to pray from now. Do not fall victim, but use your authority. Take up your seat and use your authority this time. Do not allow them to do it again. If they do it again, that's on us. What does it say? First time's on me, second time is, no, first time's on you, second time's on me. You know better now. We know better. They come in with no new tricks. No new tricks, you guys. It's the exact same thing different name, exact same thing, different name. We thank you and we praise you. We seal this prayer, Lord God, with the mighty blood of Yeshua. I sprinkle the blood and I thank you in advance. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do. We thank you for the strategy that you just released. I gave you guys the the perfect strategy from the kingdom of God. Do not let your schools be taken under. Do not let your city, your county, your state use your authority to the level that you know you can. Use your authority against this new virus. Do not take this lying down. I have given you, and I've given you, those of you coming in here and those of you in here, this ain't no accident and you're still here, and those listening on the replay, this is because you are a chosen one to handle this and push it out to the masses. This is not an accident. Don't leave this live on Clubhouse and replay on YouTube and say, oh, that was good. Dang, I can't believe they're doing that. And keep it moving. You better do your part or woe unto thee. I'm not speaking it on you. I'm just letting you know. If you are hearing this, it's because you are part of the end time warrior. That is to do something this time. You got a pass last time and he spared your life last time. Do something about it this time. Be proactive. I've given you tips, tricks to be proactive. If you got children, anoint your children. And wherever my children are, There can't be no coronavirus because their guardian angels protect them and their guardian angel speaks to other kids' guardian angels to do the same thing and breathe the air and purify it for them. Put them in a bubble. Come on, you guys. We have the Abba Father, the God Almighty, the one true living God who owns this universe. They can't touch us. The only way they can touch us is if we lay down and allow them to touch us. So it's your choice. It is your choice. What are you going to do? I've given you enough information and insight for you not to just be all willy-nilly saying what you got, all willy-nilly using this name, Eris, the Greek goddess of strife and discord and chaos. You notice they love releasing chaos. They released chaos in 2020. And look what they have. Look back. All you got to do is turn around and look at what chaos did. From protests to fighting to killing to George Floyd, all of that was released that year. All of it on purpose. Because when there's chaos, there's fear. When there's discord, there's fear. When there's strife, there's fear. The bottom line is fear. They run this world through fear. The entities that be. Anybody have any comments? I'm done. Comments, questions. Anybody have anything they want to ask or need me to repeat? Like I said, This new variant 
is no different than the first one. It's just a different name. But we got this. God has given us a strategy. I gave you the strategy in the beginning, in the very, very, very beginning. I gave you the do's, the don'ts. I gave you the questions to ask. I gave you what to do and what not to do. And then from then on, I gave you the insight. I gave you the history. So it's your choice. Nobody's raised their hand. Nobody has any comments. And I don't see nothing in my back channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, There is a prayer card that I will probably have. Um, Not that long prayer that I prayed, but I'm going to shorten it. It's going to be short, nice, and sweet. Okay? And this will help you to um, pray it. Anyone that comes up against you, any entity, any spirit, and any person, All you got to do is say that prayer and they got to back up. It's a wrap. So it'll be available tomorrow on YouTube for download. And it'll be episode 11. And it'll be called Eris. I probably won't put C-O-V-I-D because you know how they're getting real picky and trying to take down anything that is contrary to their, um, their agenda. So I have to be real careful. Um, so it'll just be called either Eris or I don't know, but it is definitely episode 11 because I left off on my YouTube a week and a half ago, um, episode 10. So again, no questions, no comments, nothing you guys want to add. Um, you guys got everything. Please share it. You guys don't be stingy. You can't do this alone and neither can I. There's six of us and seven of us in here. You cannot do it by yourself. I need your help and you need help. Share this video with three to four people and tell them, just listen. If they think it's conspiracy theories, say, you know, whatever you can think of. But conspiracy theories have a truth. Lies have a truth to it. And rumors started from a truth. I always say if, and I always use this example, don't ask me why. But if you're dating someone and they happen to leave another girl's room at midnight, He may have just been helping her. He may have really not slept with her and done anything. But the fact that you left at midnight, there's truth there. And then speculation can add to the rumor. Do you see where I'm going? There's always a truth in the rumor. Why would they name the next um, C-19 virus Eris, which means strife, discord, and to force you to chaos and to force you to embrace your mischievous side why that doesn't make sense that actively does not make sense unless they want the world to turn into chaos they want the world to to be discord they want us to be out of unity there's a reason so if you are afraid to share it ask god to give you the grace to share it this needs to be shared i need your help to share this it'll be on youtube tomorrow the replay around noon I need your help to share this. If you're just not logging in, trust me, you are here for a reason. You can listen to the replay tomorrow at 1 Central Time. I dreamed of a shift. Shut down a few. Yeah, shutdowns, blackouts, grids going out. I mean, they want chaos, you guys. If you're in the community, I already gave you the survival um, the Holy Ghost Survival Guide, what to get, how to get it, the categories to get, um, all of that. That webinar was last year. I, we are proactive in our community. My pastor has been telling us to stock up for 15 years now, 10 or 15 years, stock up. She was, she was well ahead. It's easier to be ahead than try to scramble and get a go whole bunch of stuff now. I pray to God that you guys got that webinar and took heed and slowly bought extra, $10 extra. If you had extra money, you went and bought water. You went and bought certain things. In that that webinar, it was a Holy Ghost survival guide that helped you understand what was needed and how to pick what to pick because we were all strapped. We were all, they're making money tight so you can't get a whole bunch of stuff. Once they, think about this. If they shut down the grocery store, where are you getting food? Think about it. If you don't have a stockpile and they shut down the grocery store, where are you getting food? crickets does anybody know how to farm that's not a quick easy trait yeah you can go get seeds but do you know how to manage seeds do you know how to flourish with seeds think about it you guys so if you want that 
survival holy spirit survival god webinar it is available it's a replay um it's in the knowledge on demand if you're in the app and if you have that if you need to go back and listen to it but if you're not you can email executive.assistant and ask her for the link to purchase that replay it is the holy spirit survival guide it was last year probably around this time i did it and i broke down how to how to ask the holy spirit what the holy spirit wants you to do and what to get by category to help you understand I'm telling you, within the community, in the app, we're on a whole nother level. A whole nother level. So if that is something that you're interested in, executive.assistant, just put in there that you are interested in um, purchasing the webinar for Holy Spirit Survival Guide. But you guys have an amazing day. Um, If I have any more information, um, which I do, I'll see when he wants me to release it. But you guys, September 1st, a lot of stuff is going to hit the fan. We did this prayer right on time, which is why I was just like, I got to get it out. I got to get it out. So you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much. Um, But yeah, you're not the only one having dreams of shutdowns, blackouts. I had a dream of a blackout in 2020. It hasn't happened yet. I was ahead. It's probably this one. I had a dream I was showering. I need to go get more candles. I had a dream I was showering and I had tons of candles in the bathroom. I had tons of batteries all over the place. And I was just like, okay, why would I need all of that if I have light? Okay, that means I won't have light. So that's where this came from. My dream as well, plus people speaking. So, yep. All right, you guys, have an amazing rest of your day. This room and this live is closing in three, two, and one. Thank you for disrupting with me and keep defending with me. Talk to you guys soon.